Carlton House is a high quality animal, a very good athlete. He filled my eye from the moment he walked through the door. The dream of a Royal Derby winner alive! Well, he was an imposing, very good looking yearling. Uh, he was broken by Darley before he came to us. And very good action, good temperament. What was the lovely thing about him was that he had the most incredibly kind and loving nature and he bonded remarkably well with his attendant, Mel Norman. The first time we realised that he was going to be a serious horse was on his second and final start as a two-year-old at Newbury and he really annihilated quite a good field. Both Ryan and I felt that evening that, you know, we had a Derby horse on our hands. After that, we decided we were training for the Derby. The plan was always just to give him the one start before Epsom, and I like that Ante is a trial. Furlong and a half left to go. Seville puts his nose in front from Pisco Sour. Carlton House thrusting between horses. World domination is beaten. It's Carlton House now puts it up to Seville. Inside the furlong they come. Seville battling back. Carlton House into a narrow lead from Seville. They've drawn away. Carlton House asserting close hope. The dream of a Royal Derby winner alive as Carlton House wins the Dante. He needed a split in the closing stages, but. Uh, Ryan got that and in fact he won cozily. Very impressed, came away happy. His preparation for the derby went very, very smoothly until the Monday before the derby and he had uh, a very sore right forward joint. It's the last thing you need preparing a horse for any race, never mind a race like the derby and we had to do a lot of work, morning, noon and night, interfering with him, icing him. We had to go for the derby. The derby is the derby. You know, he was derby favourite. We felt we had a good chance. And that joint compromised him, and I think that it compromised him thereafter. Well, it, it always needed meticulous management, and I don't think he ever was really at his best after. And they're off. And racing for the Investec Derby. Carlton House not the fastest away. The race itself didn't go very well because he reared up coming out of the stalls. Um, he got interference coming around Tatman. Carlton House down the outside, then the pink colours towards the inner of Recital. Plenty with a lot to do at this stage as they make their way now with a furlong and a half to charge the race. Memphis, Tennessee from Treasure Beach. Carlton House towards the outside, then in fourth, Native Khan. Recital comes next, Paul Moir from a long way back. Treasure Beach got to the front in the derby. Memphis, Tennessee and Carlton House in hot pursuit. Out in front, Treasure Beach from in second, Carlton House. Paul Moir coming strongly down the outside. Treasure Beach just in front. Paul Coming on the outside and celebrate. He was beaten a very narrow margin. Carlton House came to me as a serious horse. He's got the qualities that I look for in a good horse. He's got size, strength, an enormous heart, and a massive will to win. And they're off now in the Ranvet. Carlton House was the best out. And the Ranvet was probably the pinnacle of his success. I just knew that I had Carlton House really going super. The leader is Carlton House. Leads out by about a length and three quarters. When he first came to me, he was a, a horse that used to race off the speed and come home. He had developed, quite by his own makings, a terrific cruising speed. Carlton House is really stretching the lead here as they come down the side, 800 to go. About six or seven lengths in front, lead from Silent Achiever. Fioretti being urged along on the outside to come up a little bit closer. It's a done deal of stalking him every step of the way. I'm sure if he'd been used a little bit more in the middle stages, they never would have caught him on the winning post. Carlton House comes back to them. Leads only narrowly now from Silent Achiever. He cruised beautifully and relaxed. He's got fantastic speed. 
It's Carlton House giving a sight here, got away from Silent Achiever. It's a Dundee and Fiorenti will need to lift their boat, struggling for mine. It's Carlton House in front, Silent Achiever coming after it. It's a Dundee trying to rally. Carlton House is in front, little Silent Achiever is lifting and is going to get there. I think she lunges and wins from Carlton House in a bombing finish. It's a travesty that his nose didn't get in front of Silent Achievers.